founder's lens. A physician's lens through the lens of inclusion. A perfectly imperfect lens. The lens of our ummah as one body. A lens of honor. Through the lens of compassion. A volunteer's lens. An empowered lens. From an outside lens. A caregiver's lens. Through a lens of a relative. A sibling's lens. A lens that's different. See Muhsin through all of our lenses. Support each of our views of a better community for all. Nervous system, my central nervous system. So everything below my chest down is completely paralyzed. Um, this happened the last day of Ramadan. Um, so you can imagine um, my whole family and every, every community were in shock when they learned about my accident. Um, to see hundreds of people at the hospital to run to, for my concern and see my well-being was quite amazing. Um, so that's why I decided to talk about relationships. And I noticed that we have a translator to our side, so I'll try to speak as slowly and enunciate as possible. Thank you. Of course. So with relationships, I'd like to begin with my, my journey here. So I don't have a car, so I asked my neighbor to assist me to borrow their car for me to come here. And they accepted. And as I parked here, my chair was in the trunk. It was completely set up, so I couldn't take out the chair out of, on my own. So I called Brother Bunir to have some volunteers to come assist me to take out the wheelchair from the car. And that's when I created new bonds and relationships from those two, three brothers that came out. And when I came inside the masjid, I met Brother Muhammad and his beloved mother, who were very eager to assist me in the masjid hall, prayer hall, because since it's carpet, they were volunteering to assist me with trans transporting me to and from the prayer hall to this room. That is just many encounters of relationships that I had just within the four hours. And of course, there's a lot much more than outside the masjid. Since I focus on the masjid, I'm obviously we're going to interact with each other after this meeting. So I'm hoping that everyone is test. Okay. So everyone is not shy enough to come to, to us and speak about your life, your relations, your personalities, because here we are doing just that. We're exposing each other so we can learn more about you too. Do I do all of it? Okay, perfect, okay. And so, since I talked a little about the masjid, each, we have the opportunity to come here and discuss what we think is working well, what, what can be changed, um, and other comments that we can think of. For me, I've seen so much changes in this. Already I've seen changes of the infrastructure of the masjid. I've noticed the bathrooms have been very accessible for those who are wheelchair users. I've noticed that there are shoes not in front of the entrance way for us to easily maneuver. The handicap stalls are wide enough. There's even a disposable bin inside for us to throw away any medical tools that we use. So a lot of it is in private, so it's really nice to see that we're not exposing certain medical instruments that we use uh, for us to live our lives. Um, so kudos to the masjid. We'd love to see what you, we'd love to see that you guys are paying attention to us. Outside the masjid, of course, as somebody who has two part-time jobs trying to find uh, a time to be a function in society, I have now established myself as a uh, employee for Afghan Coalition and an employee for Apple. So one is profit, one is nonprofit. The fact that I'm in both worlds trying to create a healthy life for myself as well with my coworkers and peers uh, how I live my life. Because we're not just tools in the society, we are human beings. So I like to share a lot about myself to the community. Hence, um, as you can see, I already discussed to you something very important, my accident. Um, typically, it's not very uh, normal for an individual with disability to talk about their disability right off the bat. It takes a lot of, you know, security, self-esteem, and um, and uh, and 
what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, uh, empowerment for us to talk about this because we are relieving the trauma that we experienced so long ago that changed our lives. And so for us to accept this, to talk about it, it's very empowering. And not the fact that I'm up here talking about it, I hope to see the generation that's, or the audience that are out there to come up here and talk about your own stories too. Because in the end, it's a relationship. It goes back and forth. Um, and the other thing I like to talk about is I am very eager, look at my notes, I apologize, is friends. Having friends is something very important in our lives. Um, any human being should have a friend. Um, family, a mother, a father can be friend. Grandmother, you know, anybody with blood ties can be friends. Your neighbors can be friends. And your schoolmates can be friends. But it's very important to have friends around your age too. So I understand parents are very concerned of their safety for their children when they are out doing recreational activities. For example, I am partaking wheelchair basketball. There is even a youth wheelchair basketball team in Berkeley. And so to see kids out there with d many types of disabilities, whether you're amputee, have one eye, this, uh, one eye, where if you have one arm, whether if you're paralyzed like me, we all come together and do a particular task like wheelchair basketball. We set aside our differences and we just work together and try to compete with the other team. The best thing about this is we get to step outside of our home environment and we're into a different environment where everyone can relate to one another. This is something that sometimes can be very upsetting for families because the jokes can get sometimes very insensitive. But somebody who has a disability and can easily laugh about it with somebody else is something what I call a healthy coping strategy. Now, I know sometimes it can be offensive to some, but it's a very normal experience for those who are in this type of environment. Another thing that I like to discuss about is our neighbors, of course. Um, somebody who I live on my own, I live in my own right now, uh, alhamdulillah, with my parents' blessings. And for me to get to know my neighbors is very important to me because Anything can happen to me, of course, right? My mother is very concerned with my well-being that I live alone. She's, uh, for, for her well-being, I turn on my location so she can see where I am 24-7. Um, my little brother is very upset about this, that I had learned, that I taught her about this on her phone. But in the end, it's relationships, creating healthy relationships. So my mom is comfortable um, just to check up on me to see where I am if I'm home. Um, but with my neighbors, it's very important because there are times where um, I receive packages that I can't send to my room. And so a neighbor of mine just happenly, just unexpectedly just grabbed the packages and brought it in front of my door and knocked in front of my door. I didn't have to say anything, hey, can you please help me? But the fact that I introduced myself to my neighbor, he knew about my disability, and I knew about him learn more about him and his personality, it became a relationship. And I find that to be very priceless because not everybody is willing to help. But for those who are wanting to help, it's a good sight to see. My other topic that I'll lastly discuss is the masjid, of course. Um, I did spoke a little about it, the peers, the leaders. And, of course, the, the people who help clean up the place. Everybody is part of this team. We're all here together. We're all equals. We're on this one journey trying to win Jannah, of course. And for us to share each other's lives, to get to know one another, our community, I believe is the first step for us to get to know one another, to be part of the Ummah, and expand that, hopefully. Thank you very much. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم مرة أخرى أنا اسمي ميادة زيداني من مؤسسة Family Resource Navigators. So this is ميادة زيداني. ميادة زيداني and she is a coordinator for Family Resources. Yes. 
مين مؤسسة مؤسستنا مؤسسة فاميلي ريسورس نافيجيتر هي مؤسسة غير ربحية مؤسسة إنسانية بتخدم مقاطعة أليميدا كاونتي ومقاطعة كمان كونترا كوستا كاونتي بتسهل شو وظيفتها وظيفتها إنه أي أسرة لديها طفل ذوي احتياج خاص أو حتى أكبر من طفل صعب بمر في في بروسس طويل طويلة عريضة عشان يحصل على الموارد فإحنا هدفنا التسهيل على على الآباء والأب ابناء للحصول على هاي المصادر وال المصادر سواء كافه سواء كانت اجتماعيه او اقتصاديه او طبيه so um, she runs a non-profit organization and it uh, is held in both Alameda County along with Contra Costa County, Contra Costa. Contra Costa County. and uh, they work with parents with helping parents um, Ease the good resources. Yeah, to to gain resources, whether it's health resource resources or educational resources, to help the development and uh, education of their children. بنركز على كتير من حالات الأشخاص اللي من من البداية من بداية النمو اللي بيكون عندهم في تأخر في النمو أو بيكون في عندهم تأخر في اللغة أيضا اللي بيعانوا من طيف التوحد وال والإعاقات الأخرى. So they specifically work with children who either struggle with a late development or um, late development, a cognitive late development, yes. or um, late development in general with the yes. body and uh, finding ways. Speech delay. Speech delay and uh, autism. Autism, okay. Yeah. Uh, مؤسسة Family Resource Navigator زي ما حكيت هي بتخدم أكثر من 25 uh, uh, أكد لها أكثر من 25 سنة هون uh, وبتخدم كافة أطياف المجتمع الأمريكي سواء كانوا الأسيويين الأفارقة العرب الباكستان الأفغان أي حدا يعني المهم أنه هي هي هدفها إنساني فبالتالي أنه بتخدم كافة أطياف المجتمع الأمريكي It's been running for 25 years and it serves many different populations Um, whether they be Africans, Chinese, Arabs, Westerners, etc. Uh, كمان بنربط الأهالي uh, والأطفال للحصول على الكافة الخدمات بالربطهم مع المؤسسات التعليمية أو مع المؤسسات الـ 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 الطبية أو مؤسسات السوشيال ورك السوشيال سيكيورتي So they try to um, connect special needs children and children and families with uh, the research, social, health, and cognitive resources that can help in their development. مؤسستنا بتتمتع انه بتخدم الكل بشكل انساني بغض النظر عن وضعه للهجرة وايضا مع الحفاظ على السرية التامة وبشكل مجاني. So um, their resources are all free. They focus on maintaining the privacy of the patients and uh, Uh, free for free, it's for free. Oh, what is it? Privacy. Uh, so they don't look at like the social status or financial status of the status of the patient, and they um, they're completely free and they focus on privacy. بنخدم أكثر من 85% من مقاطعة أليميدا كاونتي وأيضا لنا العديد من الخدمات في كونترا كوستا كاونتي بس الأكثر في 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 أليميدا كاونتي بنخدم زي ما أنا حكيت يعني مش بس الأطفال أيضا الأهالي يعني في كثير أهالي بيكونوا جايين جديد على أمريكا ومش عارفين وضعهم القانوني وضعهم الاقتصادي بنساعدهم في في الحصول على المصادر بنضل متابعين معهم وأيضا بنعطي الأهالي دورة تدريبية لحتى يدافعوا يعرفوا أول شيء عن حقوقهم ويدافعوا كمان عن 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 حقوقهم سواء مثلا في المدارس في التعاملات الطبية الاقتصادية وما إلى ذلك. So um, they help family. They focus on Contra Contra Costa. No, Alameda. Alameda County. Contra Costa County, but specifically Alameda County. Yeah. And they um, focus on empowering parents by. Um, especially parents who are coming as refugees from other countries and who don't know what their rights are, they educate them on their rights and then they uh, further help them plug in with the resources and stand up for their rights here in California. Uh, 
عملية الحصول على الخدمات عملية الحصول الطفل خاصة على الخدمات عملية معقدة جدا وبحاجة لتتبع فالأهالي اللي بيجوا جديد بكير هون على أمريكا بكون عندهم صعوبة سواء في اللغة سواء في التتبع اللي بكون عندها أكثر من طفل ما بيكون الأمر سهل أبدا فلهيك إحنا بنكون موجودين لحتى نتبع إحنا علاقة الوصل بتكون مع الطفل أو الأهل والمؤسسات الـ الـ يعني سواء الحصول على المصادر الخدمات المالية المجانية زي Social Security Income أو IHSS كمان المؤسسات التعليمية كيف نربط الطفل بحصوله على الخدمات التعليمية So many families and uh, children who come from abroad, they really struggle with finding the right educational system and resources available So um, what what the sisters work focuses on is basically making the connection, connecting these families and these uh, students with the resources that they need and the education systems that they need in order to flourish here in the States. أيضا بنقدم مجموعات دعم لهؤلاء الأمهات والأباء لأنه في العديد من الأمهات والأباء لما يعرفوا أن طفلهم معه توحد أو تأخر في الكلام أو أي نوع من أنواع الإعاقة ما بتقبلوا هاي الفكرة فلازم يكون يعني إحنا بندعمهم تدريجيا بندعمهم دعم بعدين كمان بنحاول أنه نوصلهم لهاي الخدمات الكافة طبعا كل الخدمات اللي بيستحقوها um, they also really focus on helping parents and families of special needs children accept um, the fact that they might have a special needs child because a lot of them will struggle with just that first stage of accepting it. And then once they're able to accept it, then they help support them by connecting them with the resources needed. في عندنا كمان ايضا مجموعات اللعب او بلاي جروب اللي هي للاطفال الاقل الاصغر سنا لنشاركهم نوعا ما تدريجيا لحتى يشتركوا بالمجتمع بشكل عام وكمان دورات تدريبيه للاباء والامهات بالدفاع عن حقهم في موضوع اكيد انتم بتعرفوا اللي هو التعليم الخاص او الاي اي بي ميتنج Okay, so for young children who are coming from abroad, they, they usually struggle with fitting into social circles here in California, so, or just in the West in general, so their parents um, help, so the parents place them in these programs which help them just play and get familiar with the environment and society before they enter the full schooling system. And then they also offer um, training classes for parents which focus IEP on... IEP meeting, which is a special education for the kids who has um, a special needs. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. As I said, the impact مش بس بيوصل للأمهات اللي عندهم أطفال ذوي احتياجات خاصة أيضا للأباء والأمهات اللي عندهم شك في أنه طفلهم ممكن يكون عنده احتياج خاص لأنه زي ما بنعرف مثلا التوحد ما من أول سنة أو تاني سنة ما ببين عليه الطفل فلحتى ي... لحتى يعرف الأب أو الأم أنه ابنه عنده طفل عنده توحد مثلا أو تأخر في النمو أو تأخر في الكلام بنضل متابعين مع الأهالي اللي بتوجهونا طبعا بنضل متابعين معهم أنه في هذا العمر كم لازم يكون الطفل مهاراته كيف كيف هل هل هالمهارات متناسبه مع عمره او لا اقل او اكثر فبنساعدهم انهم يعملوا تشخيص لحتى نعرف هاي الحاله بحاجه لمساعده او لا they also offer help to parents who are not completely sure if their child is a special needs child or not and so for example with autism it might not be detected until a few years into um, like until their child is a few years old so they'll help slowly guide the parents with f uh, finding different signs and then um, if they do detect autism then they'll or any other um, special needs then they'll um, yeah then they'll basically offer them with the resources that that can support them Family Resource Navigator بتتعامل مع كل المؤسسات اللي بتخدم آه الأطفال ذوي الاحتياجات الخاصة بنتعامل معهم بنشبك علاقات مع بعض وحتى إذا في آه إمكانية أنه نعطي الخدمة آه بشكل أسرع يعني بنكون مرحبين بهذا الإشي مثل خدمات الـ Respite Service خدمة الـ الـ زي ما حكيت Social Security Income Legal Assistant كل هاي الخدمات الاجتماعية الاقتصادية الطبية خاصة الطبية انه لانه الموضوع كتير معقد لنحصل 
الطفل او الشخص على الخدمات الطبيه فبدها احاله من الجهات المختصه احاله من الاطباء احاله من كمان من الجهات التعليميه وتقارير وما الى ذلك فبنكون يعني اي شيء بنقدر انه احنا نعمله فاميلي ريسورس نافيجيتر مع المؤسسات الاخرى ما عندنا مشكله So, Family Resource Navigator, they try to work with all of the different organizations here in California um, that can support the child at any uh, level. And, yani, ما الشيء المميز بالنسبة لهم؟ أم أم احنا بنتواصل مع العرب بشكل مباشر لانهم هم ما بيعرفوا يحكوا انجلش فاحنا بنساعدهم فبن بن يعني بنشرح لهم الطريقه كيف انهم ممكن يحصلوا على هاي الخدمات واحنا بنساعدهم أم أم بالبروسس نفسها عرفتي كيف فانه يعني بنساعد إن لما يكون في في اوراق مطلوبه الاهالي ما بيعرفوا عنها فاحنا بنساعدهم يعني نحصل على هاي الاوراق بعدين بنحيل لحاله هاي الشخص او الاسره للجهات المختصه so Since they're uh, fluent in Arabic, they also work on helping families that whose children um, don't know the English language, and so they help first teach them the English language, and then also connect them with the resources that they'll need, and also um, offer them, for example, the health papers, the um, all the documentation all that the documentation. required to get the service. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, لما نح لما يكون في عنا امهات واباء زي ما انا حكيت انه مش تركيزنا فقط على الطفل ذوي الاحتياجات الخاصه ايضا تركيزنا على الامهات والاباء فبنعمل مجموعه دعم او سبورت جروب مع بعض بنلتقي فيهم بشكل تدريج بشكل مكرر شهري او او اسبوعي او ما الى ذلك لحتى نعطيهم لحتى ندعمهم نفسيا وبنضل كمان متابعين مع عده حالات They also run uh, groups, so they'll meet a special needs, it's almost like a special needs community, and they'll meet on a week, um, on a monthly basis more so, and they'll collaborate and share thoughts and support one another, so that's another offering that they... Uh, لغاية um, um, فترة الكوفيد 19 ضلينا كمان متواصلين مع كافة الأهالي um, اشتغلنا بالبيت بس ما, ما تركنا ولا ولا حدا يعني uh, أعطينا الخدمات للكل تواصلنا مع uh, مع كافة المؤسسات uh, تق- أول أول فترة الكورونا كتير تأخرت المواضيع لأنه كل المؤسسات ال- ال- المجتمع المدني والمؤسسات الحقوقية والإنسانية uh, كانت لسه مش عارفة كيف تشتغل منيح بس احنا استمرينا مع كافة الأهالي لي ومجموعات الدعم كانت عن طريق الزوم وفرنا لهم كل المصادر للحصول على الطعام الحصول على الدعم النفسي الحصول على المصادر الطبيه وكافه المصادر الاخرى اللي كانت تحصل عليها ما قبل الكورونا So with COVID, things kind of took a standstill and came to a stop. However, they continued to run their uh, community, their special need community meetings via Zoom, and they offered the the help that they could, whether it was health wise or emotional um, well being help that they could offer online via Zoom. So basically, didn't let COVID get into the way as much as possible. Yeah, so this is all. Thank you so much. And please, if you need uh, anything, you can contact me. I will put my uh, I will put my information here. So if you know any, okay, this is our website www.familyresourcenavigators.org, and this is my number five one zero seven five nine one zero zero four. So if you know any uh, family who had a special need kid or or they need any support, please contact us. Any questions? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Jazakallah khair. You mentioned that you run special need groups on a monthly basis. Do you have those uh, list of groups and what time they happen? You mean support group? Yes. Yes, sure. Uh, for um, I have I have just my list and uh, the Arabic support group. So um, uh, I can continue with you, of course, to see what language you are uh, you are speaking. So I I will contact you with uh, with the other parents, of course. And this is the email also, but it's um, just for the um, yeah. yeah info at familyresourcenavigators.org. I think you can take a picture of the screen, inshallah, if you need yeah. to. Other questions? Yes. I was wondering if, um, uh, sorry, 
I was wondering, in terms of communication, if the people aren't good at English, uh, do you help them uh, with Arabic and English, and then uh, kind of like guide them around, or you provide you know these various services, so you do the linguistic accommodation as well? Yes. Um, um, it's easier to say Arabic. Yeah. Um, the uh, Family Resource Navigators has all the languages. مش فقط العربية بس أنا هون لا أتحدث مع المسلمين العرب فهي كل اللغات فأي حدا ممكن يتواصل باللغة الإنجليزية أو بلغته هي لغة الأم فزي ما أنا حكيت هي بتخدم كافة أطياف المجتمع الأمريكي بغض النظر عن اللغة أنا بصفتي هون أمثل ال Family Resource Navigators المتحدثين باللغة العربية أنا أتحدث اللغة الإنجليزية لكن ليست مثالية لكي أقوم بعمل الـ بعمل الـ presentation لكن الكل موجود يتكلم لغة الإنجليزية ولغته الأم ويساعد كافة الأطياف الموجودة أي 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 شخص لديه احتياج أو لديه طلب في المساعدة يمكن الوصول لمؤسستنا لو حتى لا نعرف لغته الأصلية ممكن أن نت نساعده باللغة الإنجليزية طبعا. So her family resources organization, it uh, welcomes all languages. However, she just focuses on the Arabic department. But um, if you get in contact with them, depending on which language you would like to communicate with, they have that available. Also, could I ask, um, is the question more so how can he improve his English language? Or is it just if the website has an English option? You know, you can help people directly in you, you can help people directly in Arabic as well then, right? You deal with them oh, in sign language. No, no, in spoken Arabic. Yes. So not sign language. You're talking, you're talking about spoken Arabic. Yeah. So, yeah. She, so the, she, she's part of the Arabic team, so she would be able to do that for sure. Question. Assalamu alaikum. ما أعرف بالخطر على بالي إنه هل ممكن تساعدون الأشخاص ده والاحتياج الخاص يعني مثل الناس اللي على الكرسي المتحرك تساعدوهم في البحوث عن أنا هسه مثلا بدي أبحث عن منظمات اللي هي تقدم السيرفيس دوغز هل خطر عندكم وساعدتوا أحد في هذا المجال؟ طبعا أنا آه. شوف أنا ما ما حكيت بهذا الموضوع لأنه مش كل المسلمين بحب يكون عندهم آه. ال so I was asking her because um, I was asking her if they can help uh, people with special needs to apply for a service dog because uh, for me as a person on a wheelchair I've been struggling a little bit of finding the right organization and I spent a lot of time doing research online and Google and Unfortunately to say it, but that's what I find is like most of it is scams. So I don't know which the right organization should I go for. Or the best resource. To... Because I don't know, like I'm going to submit all my, you know, my documents, my private information, my, you know, self-information and all that uh, things. So um, it's very important to know where you're getting your, where are you going to put your information? هو صراحة إحنا مؤسستنا بتدعم في هذا الإشي زي ما أنا حكيت لك أنا ما فتحت هذا الموضوع لأنه مش كافة المسلمين أو العرب بيحبوا هاي بيحبوا يقتنوا الكلاب أو بيكون عندهم بس لحسن الحظ إنه مديرتنا هي عندها كمان مؤسسة بترعى هاي ال يعني هي هي مؤسستنا فإذا بتحب تتواصل معي وإن شاء الله يعني I will contact you أنا سبحان الله سما يعني ما بعدين إن شاء الله أخذ المعلومات تبعك من أكملية إن شاء الله شكرا جزيلا okay. So she said that um, they, their whole organization works on supporting people and supporting the needs that they have and um, I think her uh, the person director the her director actually focuses on offering yes um, the dogs yeah so service dogs service dogs that's yeah. Perfect for the brother here who is uh, requesting that. So if any of you have any specific needs that you're looking for, feel free to, inshallah, reach out and um, 
they'll be happy to help yeah, you. And please, if you know any uh, family, sorry. And please, if you need, if you know any family who needs our support, who needs our service, please uh, tell them about us, and um, uh, we are very happy to uh, to give them a service. Beautiful, alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. معلش احنا جينا متاخرين صراحه شوي اوكي احنا مهاجرين جدد جينا من الاردن اربع شهور جينا صراحه مخصوص عشان ابني عمره تسع سنوات هو شخصوه انه توحد طفيف وعنده بعض السلوكيات وبتشتت هاي هلا احنا جينا على منطقه فريمونت سجلناه في مدرسه حكوميه صراحه يعني ردوا شخصوه نفس الاشياء قالوا لنا توحد طفيف وهيك فنسبوا له انه هو يفترض كان بالصف الرابع قالوا لا هذا مستواه انه بس انه كيندر جارتن وحطوه مع بصراحه يعني غرفه خاصه هي وكل احتياجات يعني كل حالات صعبه صراحه اللي فيها يعني علاقات شديده أيوة. وحطونا وقالوا له يعني هذا اللي عندنا الحل الوحيد يعني هلا الصراحه انا يعني بالاردن ما كنت احملته كان دائما ياخذ علاج نطق وظيفي وهو حاتم انه مش صعب كثير الاي بي اي قصدك اكزاكتلي ايوه واجيب له دائما اختصاصي على البيت وهو مقدرته عقليه يعني ممتازه بس انه بده فردي مع مجموعه ما بقدر هلا ما بعرف طالبت انه انا بدي اياه يرجع على صف عادي بس بده شخص يساعده مش قابلين يجاوبوا مع انا حقول هذا اللي عندنا فانا ما بعرف شو يعني لمين اتجه شو اعمل ايش الاجراءات شكرا عفوا هلا خليكي بس ترجمي ايش بتحكي عشان انا اقول لك Okay, I'll start on here. Um, so the sister is saying that they actually just came from Jordan a few months ago, and her son goes to a school here in Fremont, um, and he has he, he's much of a well functioning. He just has very uh, minor autism, and so he struggles with focusing uh, with I think bil yes. kitaba, but with writing, and um, so he just needed some support resources that. They were planning on getting in Jordan, but when he came here and he was struggling with that in school, um, uh, um, they, they want to put him on uh, lower level. Lower, lower level. Mm, yeah. So they wanted to put him in a lower level, but she wants to keep him in fourth grade. Uh, but she just needs that extra support to help him really, you know, go to the next level and inshallah catch up to to the level of his peers. So she was asking if there's any help. احنا هون عشانك يعني عشان زي حالتك بالضبط تماما يعني انت وصلتي <تصفيق> انت وصلتي بالضبط لا يعني انا اجيت هون بس عشانك والله اه بدي احكي لك شغله اه اللغه عمرها ما كانت عائق ابدا ف وانت جديده جايه يعني احنا مؤسستنا بس عشان مثل حالتك خاصه اللي بيحكوا زي عربي لانه انت جايه على على امريكا مش عارفه ولا شيء لسه مجتمع جديد يعني نيو كلتشر بالنسبه لك مش عارفه ولا شيء غير اللغه اه اه بعد هلا بعد ما نخلص بعطيكي رقم تليفوني وبعطيكي كل المعلومات عشان تتواصلي معي لانه انا راح ابلش معك من الصفر بكل الخدمات اللي انت بتستحقيها مش بس ل... لابنك الله يحفظ لك اياه لا كمان لك وكيف رح نبلش بالتدريج لاحكي لك انه ان شاء الله انت رح تاخذي كل الخدمات ان شاء الله وابنك هون بايدي امينه يعني اطمني بس المش... المشكله انه كيف بدك تحصلي على هاي الخدمه لهيك احنا مؤسستنا موجوده وانا موجوده لخدمه العرب فان شاء الله رح اساعدك في كل الخيارات سواء كانت من ناحيه ال... ال... شو مستحقاته وشو حقوقه كمان انه انت تعرفي معلومات اكثر لحتى تدافع عن ابنك بالمدرسه هذا اللي كنت احكي فيه عنه عن الاي اي بي ميتنج هذا لانه هلا ابنك راح يكون في في تعليم خاص فبالتالي له قواعد معينه بس بدي احكي لك شغله وهي كثير انا بنبه الامهات العرب عليها تعليم خاص لا يعني انه اقل من مستوى تعليم خاص بدهم يعرفوا هو بالنسبه لهم شو مستوى ولازم على الاقل يكون من 40 يوم لست اشهر لحتى يقيموا ابنك صحيح لحتى يعرفوا يعطوه الخدمات الصحيحه يعني انت ما تزعلي هلا يا شهرين استني شوي يعني هو تقريبا لحتى يكون عندهم صورة واضحة عن عن حالته مش أقل من فصل دراسي أو ست شهور فأنت ما 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 تتضايقي وأنا راح أضل معك عموما آه وراح تحصل على كتير خدمات وراح أضل معك ستيب باي ستيب إن شاء الله إن شاء الله <تصفيق> So alhamdulillah the sister said that she can definitely assist um, the sister from Jordan uh, with giving, providing her with the proper resources. Um, the issue was that her son was placed into a class um, where they were supporting children with severe autism. And so uh, she wanted her son to be able to go to the next level since it was a very minor 
a minor thing. Um, and should I, let's she just she just have to wait because they, um, they assess it over. Assess their, they they need a they need six time months. Or six months, forty days to six months to get a clear idea of what her uh, what his issue to evaluate him in the right way. Anyway, so they need around 40 days to six months to have a proper evaluation bef of the child before they can um, know what, which grade and to place him in. It's different on the schools, it's different on the teachers, the specialists, so it's, it's different from case to case. But, but she's, she's, in, um, she's in the right way. Anyway. She's, and she's in a good hand, of course. Alhamdulillah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Assalamu alaikum. So just a question. Uh, it so happens that I, I was living in Jordan for the last eight years, and recently coming back. Uh, during that time, I had taken a sabbatical and just working with the nonprofit organizations. Uh, one thing I realized was when we went out there, and we're seeing, you know, I was working firsthand with refugees living in tents and everything they had gone through, the war trauma, the, you know, what they've seen in their family. And it's, it's not only having a mental toll, it's having a physical toll on their health. How do you see art, especially for younger children, playing a role in terms of you know helping them, helping them take out whatever pain and turning that into you know something positive? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, بنعتمد على التشخيص مش مش إحنا يعني على التشخيص الطبي وبناء على التشخيص الطبي بنعرف لوين نبعته أو شو نكمل معهم تمام فهلا إذا كان بحاجة ل ل للأهل إذا كانوا مش حاصلين على المؤسسات أو ال المؤسسات المجتمع أو ال كافة الموارد الطبية اللي بتساعدهم لا لا يحققوا هدفهم إحنا بتضل نبحث معهم لحتى نلاقي لهم غير عن هيك إحنا بنوصلهم في ال في الأشخاص اللي ممكن من خلال هدول الأشخاص يلتقوا في ناس تانيين يساعدوهم يعني دائما في مصادر موجودة فإحنا هذا هو آم آم هذا هو دورنا إنه كيف نساعدهم لقوا المصادر للخدمة سواء بال بال بالدعم الوظيفي بال أي نوع من أنواع الدعم أو أي نوع من أنواع الخدمات اللي هم بحاجة إلها كل حالة عن حالة بتختلف العمر بيختلف المكان السكن بيختلف فغير عن هيك مجموعات الدعم أو مجموعات اللعب للأطفال بتركز حسب شو الخدمة اللي بده إياها هذا الطفل أو شو الخدمة ال 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 غير متوفرة في هاي المدينة كيف إحنا ممكن نوفر ليها؟ Actually, art therapy. This is I know it. I know. I know it before. But um, um, I will search about the art therapy if you want. If you are um, if because yeah, we're you. also bringing in you know Afghani families okay. who are coming in. So there's mm -hmm. other sorts of traumas, yeah. and this brother is from you know different countries, different places, and so just to understand. You know what's the best way, especially when they're younger and they keep yeah. everything bottled in, and it it manifests. We in other support ways. them by a support group. We support them by support group and play group mm -hmm. to focus about what they really need or yeah. um, what they supposed to do. Sure. Oh, uh, so uh, this these things for by support group and um, uh, play group uh, for the kids, but for the the adults, actually, I don't have I don't have any case with. Um, sure. About that, but uh, of course I will search about if you are, um, if you need it. I can comment a little. Uh, my I didn't talk a lot about my agency. Uh, so what I did for for three years was I did a mental health project for the Yavin youth mm -hmm. in Fremont. Um, and since a lot of the kids are coming from Afghanistan, I did a lot of new kids that were new to the area. I did use art therapy, music therapy, in my uh, and with the parent con parental consent, but I made sure the parent wasn't there. Mm -hmm. Number one expression. When the family members there, they're not able to fully express what they're really going through, mm -hmm. um, and so a lot of the musical or art therapy that we did was for them just to simply express what they saw, what and how they felt, mm -hmm. and then for me just to listen, uh, not even have no judgment at all. Mm -hmm. So for them, it's just an opportunity just to express and under relive the situation, understand what they went through, mm -hmm. and then it's not my duty to translate what it meant to them or you know what it. What the effects are it's just to let them know that it's not their fault they're just victims of society for now and there still will be since they're now in this new society so the for me it was just to explain to them that the trauma is still within you mm -hmm. and you are expressing it 
and then you're going to experience new trauma, so try not to bury it with more trauma. First, try to resolve the issue, and then tackle on the next thing. And if you can't do it through words, through it through art, through through music, poetry, any means that you can just to overcome that challenge. Assalamu alaikum. So actually, this is not a question for the sister, but brother Munir. Um, and first, I want to thank you guys for having this event. Um, I know the masjid is always open to our children and our families, but today when I was sitting here, I was like, okay, I can breathe easy. If Muhammad is loud or, you know, he kind of tries to engage with a female, nobody will be offended or I will not be embarrassed and nobody will say, hey, what is your son doing? So uh, I just want to say that today was special because this event was being held, but as a mother, you know, as somebody who wants to say, you know, Islam supports inclusion always, it shouldn't be just for today. It should be every single time. So what does that mean? Like, what are the steps that we might need? And I feel like maybe there can be, uh, in the khutbah maybe, there can be a little bit more education for the community. And it's not that, you know, they are insensitive. It's just that they don't see the other side. Like you were talking about the lens, the lens of the parent. Um, so maybe, you know, there could be a mechanism for families like myself who can submit thoughts or suggestions and maybe every few months there could be a talk about, you know, disability or aging or mental health to just empower the community to better understand and serve. Uh, and then I wanted to ask you, how big is your group of, you know, people with disabilities or parents who have children with special needs, I mean for the masjid, do we know? Jazakallah khair, thank you for the question. So um, so we began in 2016 on this journey of uh, becoming a special needs masjid. So we were the first in California, alhamdulillah, through Mosin, to, to, to become a special needs silver certified. And basically what that meant is we got a braille Quran for the masjid. We went to the bathrooms and did an assessment to make sure they're all wheelchair accessible. And then we, put, we hired not hired, we found one volunteer to put it on every flyer that we are a special needs budget. If you need special accommodations, you email us at this address and we will get either a, a sign language interpreter there or we'll give you special accommodations. And the journey has continued every year. Um, so we uh, do our Eid festival. And so we always make sure that the Eid prayer, we have a special canopy for our special needs families. Uh, we make sure that um, the khutbah, if it's needed for, um, translation that we hire somebody to do that and we're working under the auspices of Mosin which is in um, Chicago near Chicago and that they're they're giving us information what what has grown from that alhamdulillah has been an education for MCC because we didn't know this need really existed to the extent that it has so once the family started coming to us uh, coming to us we've reached out and said we're going to cover the East Bay and now MCA mashallah has started their own group for the South Bay and we've joined forces with them and we've done some special needs picnics and um, items like that as far as the numbers go it's not really certain but what, what I do tell you is we have a special needs email list um, and that has 120 families on it so the number is pretty significant, uh, but that's just folks that we know of. Um, the, the, the unmasked special needs families, they, we, we don't know about them. And so the, we, we do have Brother Ahmed al Qubaisi, Sister um, Mother Abdullah Bujadidi, who's given us ideas of renovations and fixing things around the facility, which, which we've done. Um, but beyond that, um, we haven't been as forceful with the khutbah for example which is an idea i'm going to take back to the religious committee and see if we can do a khutbah every quarter or so on special needs uh, being for special needs jazakallah for that um so the the reason why i was asking that is to better understand the needs brother you were talking about relationships it's great that we have all these accommodations for people with physical disabilities, but to take that argument or that thought about relationships further, we need to strengthen the groups. Like, you know, there have to be groups of people with disabilities, for example, like myself with, you know, boys or girls Muhammad's age, parents with little children. If there is a strong network, then communities can have support groups here. Maybe uh, you, you talked about, sister, you talked about respite, Sometimes it's hard to get somebody to take care of your kids. Maybe through the masjid's group, we can get 
you know young girls uh, who can do babysitting like as a volunteer and parents can get a break there are so many little things that can be done and my journey used to be much harder when muhammad was younger and now alhamdulillah i'm in a position to mentor and guide so i just want to say that there's a lot we can do to build upon the steps that you guys have already taken and i would love to help i'm an attorney at adobe as a professional person and then i'm also on the board member of the regional center of east bay that's an organization that supports people with intellectual disabilities so if if, there, if there's any way i can partner with you guys or sister with you because right now there's a huge focus with the organization on supporting inclusion um and anything that we can do to help and collaborate that would be brilliant and any family over here that would like to speak with me or if there's anything i can help with i'm happy to I think more and more we're realizing that there's special cohorts in our community, like the new Muslims, that are have under unserved needs, and uh, special needs is definitely one of them that we're learning more. So I'd love to collaborate and chat with you a little bit more. Uh, Salam alaikum. I just want to second what Sister Sadia she was saying. Um, I have a, a 11 years old on the spectrum. He's autistic, and uh, uh, we've been find that it's very challenging to bring him into the mosque. Um, we live in Auckland. We came in just especially for this event. Uh, we were in the picnic uh, the last year uh, because whatever is something accommodation for kids or families with special needs, we are there because everybody got it. Unfortunately, autism is a disability that you cannot see it, mm -hmm. right? It is uh, something that people in the community, unfortunately, see it, see it that when your son is flapping or he's jumping around, you, you, your kid is misbehaving. So I want to just also offer my help. Um, I've been advocating for my son for a very long time. I have a lot of experience too advocating for at schools and uh, IEPs process. I, I know you, uh, sure. sister, last time I saw you last time. Uh, I know Family Support uh, Network. I work with them. They support me. They are a very good um, organization to support any kinds of um, uh, disabilities. But also I want to uh, second that, that as a community we should um, make more awareness about those disabilities that you can see. Um, I just have uh, uh, an incident a couple of weeks ago in the mosque uh, in Berkeley. Uh, my son, he's 11 years old, and he has to come with me. We have an iftar. And one of the sisters told me, excuse me, you so cannot be here because he's 11 years old and he's, he's supposed to go with the men. And I say, well, I'm sorry. I, I cannot he send him over there because he needs me. I need to stay with him because I need to follow what he's doing. So, like sisters say, um, I think if you will start making this um, participate the community about there is disabilities that you cannot see, but also teach them that you cannot judge and you can uh, just go right away into the parent, make them feel like it's a no good parent. Because trust me, it is very challenging to have a kids with special needs. Um, I mean, here too, I would love to support um, Munsen. Um, please let me know. I, I have you. I'm in the link and the, the email list. Yeah. So please come on with us. I really appreciate that. I think we're just scratching the surface of what the needs are in the community and how we can help fulfill it as a budget. This is very novel to all of us. We this has been always been something that we're we're thinking day to day, and it takes families like yours to bring the, to the forefront of pe people that are in management or on the board or the trustees. And we really appreciate that. And let's talk right after this, inshallah, so we can make sure that we continue the momentum that we have tonight, inshallah. Sister, may I have a question, please? Okay, we have one more from Ahmad, then I'll come to uh, yes. sister. So, uh, I'm going to ask you in English, if you don't understand. Uh, yeah. 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 So, I want to ask you, like, how, uh, like, uh, what kind of uh, uh, is your organization, like, uh, getting support from, like, a federal fund, or how you get support? And also, um, can you mention, please, as a community, how can we support this organization? Because I feel this kind of organization is so very important to have around and then also we want to uh, you know keep it longer the first question and the second question is um, do you accept a volunteers because uh, i've been asked this question so many times from my american friend which is really nice they are willing to you know to help and provide some service on their free time so uh yeah that's that's the two questions. Go ahead. 
So when, is, when there is funding, okay, we have a project. When there is no funding, unfortunately, we cannot. But um, since three years uh, or more, I know... Let me finish in Arabic. وانت بتترجمي تفضلي يعني يعني انا اللي قبلي كانت تشتغل تسع سنوات لغايه تسع سنوات وهي على عملها ليش؟ لانه هي اظهرت انه في ناس بحاجتها اللي هم العرب فلما يعرفوا انه في في ناس بحاجه يعني في منظمات عربيه او في زي هيك مثلا المسجد انه في في عندنا اسر كثير عربيه بحاجه لمساعدتي فلما يكون انه في حاجه فبالتالي في دعم او في فاندنج نستقبل اي اي نوع من يعني يا ريت يعني اذا في متطوعين بحب بحاجه انه او بحبوا انهم يساعدوا معنا ب احنا في عنا مش بس انه احنا بندعم المؤسسات بندعم عفوا الافراد كمان نتعامل مع مؤسسات نحكي لهم انه احنا موجودين وكيف ممكن نتعامل مع بعض سواء بايفنت باي شيء ثاني ممكن نتعاون عن اذنك خليها تترجم عشان ما تصير طويل يا شكرا لعليها ام سو شي سيد ذات دي بيس Thank you. They basically respond to the needs that are present. So, for example, um, the person who was in her, who was in her role before she, before she came into years, yeah. yeah she was working for nine years in the organization, um, specifically focusing on the Arab sector because in Masajid, a lot of times there are Arabs who uh, do need Arab support in Arabic. So um, that was so basically when they found that need, they tried to remedy it. Another another thing that she mentioned is that. Um, They, tr they try to always collaborate with other organizations. So whenever it, um, there's an organization that they can work with, they do so. And they are open to volunteers. اي مساعده بنحسها مش بس للعرب يعني كمان الـ 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 الافارقه كمان اللاتينوس كمان اي اي ااا آه يعني مشكلة يعني إحنا هدفنا إنساني أكثر آه أنا democracy and human right يعني فمشان هيك موجودة فأي أي حدا عنده بحاجة إحنا موجودين بغض النظر إيش آه إيش اللغة بس إحنا موجودين لحتى نكسر حاجز اللغة اللي هو ولحتى يحصل على على الخدمات بشكل أفضل سألت إشي تاني أظن لا أعتقد هو هذا السؤال مرتبط يعني إذا تقبل بالتيس وكيف كيف المنظمة قائمة آه زي ما حكيت لك هي المنظمه قائمه على الفاندنج حسب اذا في فكل مشروع والثاني بس يعني اذا انت تقدمت لهي المنظمه وبدك تشتغل معنا واحنا في هاي الفتره غير مؤهلين ممكن انه نحطك يعني المديره تاعتك كثير شاطره كثير شاطره مديرتنا كثير يعني مش شوي هي هي امريكيه امريكيه بيضاء يعني فبتقدر تعرف منين بتقدر تاخذ الريسورسز المضبوطه والها زي ما قلت لك اكثر يعني الها هلا 28 سنه هاي المؤسسه فولا عمرها قعدت يعني ولا عمرها وقدمت لاكثر من 2000 سنويا بتقدم خدمات لاكثر من 2000 عائله فهذا يعني انت متخيل بس زي ما حكيت لك زي ما حكيت لك انه احنا مبدئيا في كونترا كوستا في الميدا كاونتي وكونترا كوستا كاونتي هذا يعني they focus on these families there yeah and then the other question I remember is how can we support as a community how can we support this organization تحكي للتانيين عنا يعني تحكي لهم انه احنا موجودين وتعطيهم عنا لحتى حتى لو شوف يعني مش بس عشان مؤسستي حتى لو يعني احنا بتواصل معنا كثير ناس من ساكرامنتو من سان فرانسيسكو من 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 كارميل يعني اي منطقه ثانيه موجوده احنا بنوصلهم مع الامثالنا يعني المؤسسات الموجوده يعني لحتى يحصلوا على الخدمات او لحتى ياخذوا هذا السيرفيس يا yeah. ما شاء الله ممتاز حلو Um, yeah, so she also mentioned that um, if you want to help support, so there are many volunteering opportunities, and then also if you'd like to support the organization, just funding them would really be a help. Also, just spreading the word with anyone that you may know uh, who needs help, that will also be of service. We, we are not collecting funding. Funding from the other organization, ah. not from the. Not from the so, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that was yeah, my mistake. Just, uh, <coughs> just uh, call, uh, call the others about us. Mm -hmm. just out spreading the word. Yeah. Basically, just really spreading the word is what they would appreciate. Yeah. But um, in terms of volunteering. And they have also. Yeah, go ahead. So, I also want to mention that they, have, they are not like only uh, 
located in and, and uh, providing service in Alameda County and Costa Costa, they also have any, uh, so many partnerships with other organizations. So if you know somebody out of these, uh, like out of Costa Costa or Alameda County, just direct them to the organization and they get a contact, uh, connect them with the, with the other organization that they have a partnership with. Exactly. So, yeah, that's what I want to mention. Thank you. Thank you. Also, yeah. um, so they mentioned if there are any volunteering opportunities. So, for example, with college students who would like to volunteer, for, for, yeah. how would they plug in? How exactly would they volunteer in the organization? Right but um, you know, as uh, when coronavirus has come or COVID nineteen, we are we are just um, 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 working from home. So there is no outreach event or no outside event. So for now, there um, if there is a volunteer, we are um, um, working remotely from home. But in the future, yes, sure. G just give give us your information and we contact us, sure. I think there's another question. Hello. Uh, yeah, hi. My name is Kausia. My son is 21 years old. Um, he is going to be 22 and I uh, want to know what type of services I can expect uh, to look for uh, from, um, from any organizations. And, uh, you want to, she wants to apply? She has uh, a son who's 20 years old, yeah. and she's and, looking for any services that you can Yes, offer. sure. sure. Yeah, yeah, you can contact me directly, and I will, um, I will give you the information you need, and I will contact you with whatever the service you are. Yeah, for the adult also. Yeah, our our organization gave the um, uh, the service for not only for the the kids the the kids or uh, there is a lot of service. So we uh, I will let you know how we um um. No, it's not enough. Yeah, I mean, how they distribute it. Yes, uh, I, from zero to five years, from five years to uh, fifteen years. Oh, sorry, from five years to eighteen years. Then from eighteen years to. Five. Plus, yeah. So it's depend on your case, uh, your location, and um, uh, your case, your location, and the age also. So it's depend. So, like, could you offer them educational support to? Yes, sure. Enter colleges. Yes, this is this is what we uh, discuss on IEP meeting. It's between us and the um, um, the school district, and also the parents or the the. Um, the adult who mm -hmm. want to one, go to one more thing uh, like uh, recently MCA has started um, like a Mawson program with full like a, they have a separate room for uh, like babysitting for for parents to do kiam and all so they are able to do more so is it possible for MCC also to start up something like that so that parents can get together once a month or twice a month as needed and uh, my daughters are ready to volunteer for with uh, special needs kids, and uh, we can get more volunteers for uh, volunteer hours, and we can form a group. So once we meet, once we have a spot to meet, it'll be good to communicate easily, face to face, rather than um, emails or anything, because parents are uh, they can't go through the emails very much, and uh, they're busy with the kids. So. That's wonderful. So what we're going to do is we're going to send an email out, but tonight we'll have a, a sign sheet during your start time if uh, we want to start the, the group. Inshallah, MCC is open and willing to, to host that space and publicize it. So we'll, we'll send a sign out tonight, Inshallah, and we'll get uh, the list going there. Inshallah. That sounds something like very easy to do, Inshallah. Do we have any other questions? We're about uh, 10 minutes away from your start time. Uh, we have one more question. <laughs> so I was wondering, um, are are you involved in the administration of MCC? Are you the like the, the imam or the leader? Or the <laughs> what's your role? Yeah, he's the big cheese. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, before have you had any deaf people coming here or any much deaf participation at the masjid? As far as I know, uh, there has been one deaf person that's, that's come over the years, and uh, we've per it was a, a woman that moved here from Texas, and we provided her a sign language interpreter, uh, but she moved to Sacramento shortly after. She Only one Juma, we had provided her a sign language interpreter. Okay, thank you very much. Well, most welcome. If you ever want to have an interpreter, we'd be happy to provide that. So, uh, uh, my son is autist, and we've been getting, uh, sorry, we are approved from RECB, I think RCEB or RECB, uh, 
regional center of East Bay. Yeah. So we are approved for services from there, but um, uh, but we don't get any services. Though we are approved, they said we can get respite, and uh, we get ABA therapy from our Kaiser insurance. But the copay is pretty huge that we have to pay. So is there anything that RCB can do for us? Uh, he's seven years old. Sorry. How will you in Pleasanton? He is seven years old. His special needs, uh, special education. Okay. So do you have social security income? Do you apply for social security income? Or not yet? Okay. You can apply for social security income. Also, you can get, um, you said you have Kaiser, Kaiser insurance. So, uh huh. So, so the the question is, do you have medical or medical Kaiser or medical or med or Kaiser? Regular Kaiser. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So the problem is, um, uh, we help more, or we get the service more for the 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 people who has uh, medical. Because Kaiser, they need that مؤهلاتك أعلى أو يعني بقدر يخدموك بشكل أفضل هم بس يعني بالنسبة لهم نوع الدخل أو this sister can answer he's a U.S. citizen is that correct so your regional center client and he's seven is that correct so have you asked your case manager about something called institutional deeming so this is important. You need to ask, and is he significantly affected? Uh, okay, so that's hard because certain people they can get if they're significantly affected, like uh, they can get institutional deeming. It's worth it to ask because these are people who are considered to have lifelong disability. If he's a regional center client at the age of seven, he may be a certain level that would qualify for something called institutional deeming. Once he gets the institutional deeming, you can qualify for Medi-Cal yes. based on only his uh, income. So before you do this, make sure he has no savings, nothing like that. All of money is in your name. With this institutional deeming, they only consider the child's assets for Medi-Cal and um, Social Security is a little different because they have to, they will consider your income for Social exactly. Security. But for Medi-Cal, they will only consider his income or assets. Once you get that institutional deeming, you qualify for Medi-Cal. Once you qualify for Medi-Cal, you uh, try to find an AB agency that takes Medi-Cal and it's a little complicated and from there, but... Well, this, is, this is my job. Yeah. This is my job. Yeah, so it's a little... If you, if you yeah. reach this point, this is my job. Yeah. So keep me con uh, keep connect with me, and yeah. I will follow up with you, yeah. because, um, uh, yeah, if he uh, if he had medical, so, yeah, everything is easier for me. Okay. Yeah. Even even if he, if he's still with Kaiser, I will I will show you how to get the service. Yeah. That's okay. Just keep me updated. Sure. Okay? Sure. And, and actually... What's your name? Muzaffar. Okay, Muzaffar. Inshallah. All right. Jazakallah khair. I know there's more questions in this room, but I think the panelists will be available uh, during and after iftar, inshallah. But we're just five minutes away before we uh, retire to the banquet hall to uh, for our iftar. Um, Brother Abdullah would like to end uh, us in a prayer, inshallah. Jazakallah khair. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati yasifun wa salamun ala al-mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Thank you for attending. Thank you for bringing your light to this masjid, mashallah. We, this is just the beginning of a long journey that we have together. We all go through our journeys in life, and we're here as a community to go on this journey with you uh, and your family, inshallah. So please continue to keep us in your prayers and keep us in, in your advice where you tell us what to do for you, how to serve you better, inshallah. Jazakallah khair. And we'll be having iftar, uh, excuse me, the azan in about three or four minutes. So we have dates and water set for you in the banquet hall right behind the offices. If you go there, we'll have dates and water inshallah then we'll go to the prayer hall for families that feel more comfortable praying um, away from the jama'ah they're welcome to use this room the, there's a speaker system that will go inside here as well so feel free to pray wherever you want and then after that we have a special iftar for you and special gifts for you in the uh, banquet hall everybody's welcome please